Have you got a problem? Mm? A problem with your wooden door, such as this one here, uh, scraping on your wooden floor, or whatever it might be. Well, I've got a quick tip, a trick for you. So you haven't got to take the door off necessarily, or at the very least, you can use it as a way to delay the inevitable, which is likely to remove the door and take a bit off the bottom. All you need is some double-sided sticky tape. Really? Yeah, really. Double-sided sticky tape and some sandpaper. Yes, that's all I'm going to do. In fact, I've already been doing it. And it's, uh, it has actually worked because it's no longer scraping on the floor. Now, if I show you down there, you can see the problem. If you look here, you see that there? That's where it's been scraping on, on the actual floor. And also over there as well, just here. See, it's been scraped on the floor because there's a very little gap on the door because there's a pantry door and we don't want a big gap because we've got to think about mice. We don't want mice coming in. And there's all that oak wooden floor, but it's been gouging it here, you see? Bit by bit by bit and spoiling the floor. All I'm going to do is where that is uh, been scraping, what I did was I got double sided sticky tape, such as that there. Double sided sticky tape. I'll stick a bit down here like that. Peel off the back and this is that double sided carpet tape actually. So it's uh, you, could, you might be better off with just sticky tape. This, this stuff is a bit bit over the top really, but that does the that'll do the job. If I can get the thing off though, if I can get the other side off, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, we are. There we go. So I'll do that. Grab a bit of sandpaper like this. We can do a bit closer just so I can feed one end, uh, end under the door like so, and then stick it down like that. Now if you don't do it this way, what happens is it ends up um, moving the paper back and forth. So that's why we have the now you hear that? That's where it's hardly any clearance there. So you just literally move it back and forwards, back and forwards, back and forwards, until you can barely hear it. You can do it all in one hit. You can do a bit, go make yourself a cup of tea. Yeah. You put the kettle on, you know, and, I don't know, cup of tea or coffee or whatever you want to do. Make yourself some dinner, then come back and do a bit more. Until eventually you've got clearance under the door. You can see the sat the dust there. Look. That's literally that's it. And I'll do the same over there as well. It's a simple technique. And not a, lot of, not a lot of people know that, and it's so simple. But what it means is, you, there's something you can do quickly, and Im almost immediately. You see here now, it's getting less and less and less. So once you've got to the stage where you've got hardly any pressure, uh, hardly any uh, friction on your paper, or the floor, yeah? Now what I'm doing, I'm pulling the door down as I do it now, just to make doubly sure of it. A bit of pressure on the hinges. Oh, that. That's really good at one. So, when the door's free floating, man, that's not an issue, but then I pull down on the door, I can make it take it more off. So I pull them down on the door. Just to make sure. Pretty much there, I think. For now, as long as it's not touching the floor, it's all that matters. I've got to try and move the tape now, so I the tape and the paper. I don't want to leave any of that behind. Yeah, there we go. So the dust come off there. So now that door should make zero contact contact with the floor. There you go. See, no contact whatsoever. Either pull down. Pull down on the door now, there's no contact. So it should be alright for you know for a bit longer. Ideally, we need to take the door off and remove maybe, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, you know, four to six mil off the bottom of that door just so it's got airflow. So when you're shutting the door, you're not creating vacuum. But that I'm okay at the moment, and that's just to prevent further damage of the floor. And now I can think about just sanding that off, what have you, a bit of oil on there, and the job will be a good one. Yeah, well, for now. <laughs> Until the next time I've got to do it. Yeah. Anyway, that's a quick fix to uh, get rid of that um, 
well, scraping on the bottoms of your door, just a bit of sandpaper, a little double sided tape like so, works a treat. Simples, eh? Simples. You can charge someone 100 quid for that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ta ta.